All right, guys, so if you haven't already watched the cold start video of the Ford Bronco, make sure y'all tune in. The link will be down below in the description for the cold start of the Ford Bronco. This is the interior of this vehicle right here. You can pick up a base model for around 35000 or if not cheaper, with rebates and discounts, this and that. This is the premium package right here, guys. So you see I have the leather steering wheel out all of this digital stuff up in the dash and all of that also full touch screen so this one you can order for around 45 to 50k right here um as you can see the two-tone in the door hopefully the camera's picking that up for you guys but this is like a, a very dark blue and this is black as you can see the stitching as well throughout the seat and the bronco on your back I like, I, I like that but anyway guys this is pretty cool um i like the controls in the steering wheel right here you get sound on the left side and your safety options right here and then you get on this side apple carplay and you get to control the the speedometer and everything else up here all the important stuff right there so for this car you don't get two sticks you only get one on the left which controls everything so um lights are down here but windshield wiper and headlight is up here on this side so you can see that ac blows cold um engine start and stop button now this is kind of dated right here i'm not gonna lie to you but it is a four and like i said you could pick up one of these for like 45k so we, we beggars can't be choosers and it's a very affordable car i mean this is a brand new 2022 so i'm not even going to complain about that everything else you also get the modes right here so anyone who has owned one of these trucks before or any type of truck you know about your different drive modes and stuff like that now the shifter the shifter the, does this vehicle pass the shifter test yes it does i like having the bronco right there it feels like a nice solid shifter you also can change gears from one two three four five six right here on the side when you drop that thing in manual mode right there so let's look at these cameras right here you can see you have a front camera that camera is in the front bumper and then it also gives you an automated system using all of the cameras around the vehicle to create a bird's eye view from above excellent feature you control the fan speeds from right here you do get heated front seats air condition is not included but you do get a heated steering wheel as well also this better not be okay so I thought it was going to be a full plug. That would have been nice. But at least they were very mindful for your passenger and driver to make sure both of you guys have a plug to charge your phones or whatever you may need to charge using a USB-C or your original USB. Um, this is a touchless uh, or a keypad charger. So you can just sit your phone or device right here and it will automatically start charging while you're driving. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Something that's become a standard um moving past 2020 so that is coming becoming pretty standard in a lot of vehicles now this car this does not come with the heads up display um it does look like that that that, that could possibly be an option um this one does come with that sound system though as you can see right here and also you get a plug you get another two plugs right here guys so Okay, okay, definitely roll, definitely roll ready. Definitely that. But um, let's see what is what is all. You got a couple more buttons up here. So, hazards. Yep. And um, you also get reminded that you're riding in the Bronco, even on the passenger side. So as far as storage, storage looks pretty cool. Two cup holders right here. Your window controls, you got the cargo net right there and then oh yeah good amount of space to place things in here so cargo as far as cargo area pretty cool pretty cool um let's see what the back is looking like also before i forget your e-brake is down here so you pull on it and that will initiate the e-brake so let's show you the rear 
amount of room. 